And if my wife put me into public, I would be, I'd be waiting for her in heaven for her to show up and say, what were you thinking? Allow me to be in public. He assumes he's going to heaven. Okay. Public. F Fetterman's family and Democrats to just put him up front like that to say, well, he's great. He's this. He's that. That's a form of abuse, what they did to that guy. The, he could acquit at any time. You're removing agency from him. He has aphasia. He's not literally like Terry Schiavo, brain dead. Yeah. And this guy's entire life has been seeking political power. This is the monkey's paw, right? It's like you have a genie's wish. It's like, I wish I was senator. It's like, all right, but it's going to cost you. He's like, I don't care. Mm -hmm. And now I'm hoping for the day when some uh, on the Senate floor, when his head just explodes and covers 99 other senators with brain parts, blood, and skull bits. You would want to see that. Oh, desperately. Well, you are an anarchist. There you go. You just <laughs> I'm an American. <laughs> yeah. Like wow. Every American yeah. worth his salt wants to see a senator's head, just like JFK, head explode out of nowhere. You just took it to a whole different level. Oh, your your, your level. game just went to a whole different level. So if you like this clip... I just want to point out the fact that Mr. David here finds that disgusting statement to be humorous. Right? A lot of the stuff in this video that they were laughing at, I didn't find to be very funny, especially when the people laughing are as wealthy as they are, right? Um, now, if I'm a dishonest right-wing influencer, I'm going to make statements or mock anyone on the left or liberal-leaning people for taking this guy seriously clearly he wasn't being literal he was it was just a joke you've got no sense of humor right I am well aware that he said this kind of in a joking manner and I hope he didn't actually literally mean what he said however I think I think it's telling that he would even joke about something like that. I mean, imagine if I made a joke about me having sex with children. Clearly, I'm joking. I have shown no indication that I have any interest in children or anything like that, right? So clearly, it's purely a joke. But you gotta think, what would make me want to joke about such a disgusting thing, right? So you can't just hide behind the, oh, it's just a joke. It's almost like the, I'm just a comedian ploy that certain disgusting savages on YouTube use to cover themselves from any kind of accountability for the crap that they put out, All right? Yes, we can appreciate that someone is not being uh, serious and that they're, that they're joking, but we can also appreciate that uh, you know, it's kind of telling the level of depravity that the joke contains. Again, me making a joke about having sex with children or me making, uh, let's say, a, a uh, I don't even want to say the, the R word. Let's just say I make a joke about, you know, how, you know, most women that I date, you know, usually give it up willingly or not. You know, one way or another, I get it. You know, or something like that. You know, um, <laughs> even people's jokes kind of is an indication of some deeper things in terms of what was the genesis of that joke? What led their mind in that direction to make that joke in the first place? Right? Anyway, um... I know the Fetterman stands will be quick to jump and attack these guys because they're attacking their guy and, you know, the tribal thing. But um, I don't need to be a Fetterman stand to recognize what a disgusting statement that this guy just made. And also, again, you can say he's joking, but why does Brett David find this funny right if I were doing this interview and he said that to me I would just be looking at him like what the fuck did you just say right I would just be like flabbergasted like did you really just say that 
I would not be sitting there smiling like, oh, this guy is hilarious. Right. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Valuetainment.